But if there is an alternate universe where we say, hey, just let us do 17 episodes this year, and that would have been how a fun way to end it. That doesn't really mean that much. It really just like, giving you an extra tidbit of information. Um, okay, so anyway, eventually we decide this is gonna be the ending. And um, for a long time we had had this, this pitch of people coming out from uh, underground I don't know, it just, it turns the show into a different thing, so I was reluctant to do it for a long time, and it felt like finally this was maybe the right time to do it, and it was because of a pitch that somebody gave that I really loved. It's probably one of you two. Um, these guys are amazing writers. Actually, our whole staff is amazing. Um, um, anyway, the pitch was that these people who have come out, who are wearing the gas masks and stuff like that, they were, they're underground because they've, they've found themselves in a bunker situation to protect themselves from the virus. They have scientists, they have knowledge of a little bit of what's going on with the virus. There's no cure for the virus, but they know that the virus goes dormant after four years or whatever the thing is. When they finally come up uh, to the surface, they feel like they're they're home free. They're, they can <laughs> breathe. They can do whatever. Then we show up and we represent uh, a threat to them. We're a danger, possible carriers of the virus. They have no idea, so they're terrified. Uh, they're not the menace that they appear to be. They're just afraid for their lives. So so they would have quarantined us for a while. We would have kept up the thing where they seem like a menace. Uh, but, but they would have quarantined us. Uh, they would have had a leader who was probably a famous person who we could <laughs> talk into being on the show for three or four days, or three or four week, uh, episodes. And then what would have happened is we would have uh, made friends with them, and then they would have loosened up and finally let us out of quarantine and we would have infected them and they would all die like wild. <laughs> just our group who are carriers but immune and whatever famous person we can talk to say for as long as they can say. And then they'd probably either leave or die. Uh, or if it was a woman, maybe Jason Sudeikis comes back. And I don't know, there are so many different different ways we could have ended it. And that's the thing about going into that room with those writers is every season we would end it in this really open-ended, fun cliffhanger, usually having no idea how we would address it and then just coming back and throwing around ideas and we would just have such fun, I mean, it was a pain in the ass too. It's really, it's really the writing process is just heaven and hell all mixed into one big taco. So, uh, but yeah, that's that's what we know. We would have, you know, there are so many different. Well, I don't know. Do any of you guys have? These guys would have great ideas all the time. You know, one of my favorite uh, episodes of all time. One of my probably probably my favorite moment at that moment. God, it's episode three hundred six for us. But the moment that and Mary, it was Mary's idea of. Uh, it was when I brought Lewis back to Seattle. And uh, Kristen is trying. Uh, Carol is trying to get Gail to adopt her, and uh, that whole storyline. So that so that her baby could have a grandmother. Yes, and so Gail is fighting it the whole time. These scenes are super super funny, and then just turns like that when Gail says that that she had had a kid and that he died not from the virus, and it was just like, this, this it's, it, it, it's probably my favorite moment of the whole series. Uh, very close second, or maybe equal to it, is the scene between them afterwards when she goes to apologize, where this, I mean, that's why these guys, uh, I still can't believe they don't have an Emmy for, for because this, that, that scene alone is just like, ooh, I, I you know, I thought, so many times in editing, it just made me cry every time. And I'm not a crier, I'm a hardened 
emotionless <laughs> criminal. <laughs> I mean, every you know. So